Hello everyone, so second video where we build uh, one page together on Webflow. In the first video, we set up the style guide and now we are going to set up the fluid responsive using a tool we created and that we use at Tambian. So let's go. So in the last video, we set up the style guide, but we can see that if I change the width of my artboard, my font is not scaling. So in this video, we are going to set up the fluid responsive using the fluid setup we uh, created at Tambian. And I did a whole video um, that explains how to use it and, and the, the, the way it works. So if you have any question or if you don't understand exactly how it works, uh, you, can, you can go and, and take a look. I hope it will help you. And now I'm going to go a bit quicker in this video and will set up uh, the free responsive using this. So yeah, let's go. So the first thing I want to do is to duplicate this so I don't um, mess it up. So this is my prototype width and this is my minimum width. Um, so let's change the width and let's scale the website down. Let's make it fit, all right. Okay, so let's not um, do the tablet version for the moment. And I'll just go um, and explain very quickly how it works. In the first video, I set up all of my style guide using REM values and I divided all of my pixel values by 16. So that was the first step. Now, in order to make my website fluid responsive, I need to uh, copy this bit of code. Um, but first I need to change the values over there. So I have my prototype width and prototype minimum width. So the prototype width is equal to the uh, width of the um, artboard that you use during the design process and the minimum width on Webflow is 992 pixels. Um, this is the minimum width on desktop. You can see that I'm still on desktop but if I go below that I'm now on tablet. So this is my minimum width. I'm now going to use an element as a reference um, that's equal to my prototype minimum uh, font size and font size. So my prototype font size, I can use uh, whatever element I want. I could be using, for example, my large text. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use this element. I think it's working well for our website. So it's 143 pixels, so I can change the prototype font size. And now I can just take a look at the font size over there and it's 98 pixels. So I can say 98. We can also see that we have a container max width that's equal to the width of the prototype width. So let's copy and paste this. So I'm copying this. Let's go back on the stop. And I can paste it in my CSS embed. Now we can see that for the moment nothing is happening because uh, I'm above my maximum breakpoint for the moment. But when I reach 1440 pixels, my font is now scaling down until it reaches the minimum prototype width. And so let's go exactly to that width. And we can see that the line, the, the line breaks stays the same. And so now my website is scaling. But so now what I would like to do is that I would like my website to keep scaling even after it reaches 1440 pixels. So what I can do is that I can click on that box. So my container max width is wider than my prototype width. And now I need to add those values. So I have a prototype maximum width. So in my case, I want it to be 1920 pixels. So let's do that. 
and the process is the same, but in the opposite uh, direction. All right. So let's make the page a bit taller and let's scale this up. Let's take this again. And I'm going to use the same element that I used for the first step, so this one. And now my font is 1000, uh, 190 pixels. And so I can change the value right here. And we can see that my container max width is a bit different, but it's equal to 1920 pixels. And now I have a new uh, media query uh, that matches um, that matches this uh, values and so again I can copy this and paste it in my CSS embed so I need to take this let's clean this again and now we can see that my website is scaling and yeah just like that we have a free responsive website uh, again, if you have any question or if, if I went a bit fast, don't hesitate to go and take a look at the video uh, we did about, uh, about that. Uh, I will link it in the description. And yeah, in the next video, we will start building the, the website. So uh, things will start to be a bit more, uh, a bit more fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see ya.